I can remember being probably five, six years old, and one of the first real miniature things that I made was a bathroom for Barbie out of a tissue box. Megan Smith has come a long, long way since then. Smith, who considers herself a miniaturist, has created hundreds of dollhouse-sized bookshelves, tables, and other pieces of furniture with her own two hands. Some people are very organized and they will draw something out and figure out what they're doing. Uh, I sit down with a bunch of different bits and pieces and just start playing. Smith says there's a misconception around miniatures. There is a perception that miniatures are just for kids or for young people. And most of the clients that I, I work with are all adult collectors. I do a lot of what's called kit bashing, and that's when you get like a kit that already has some components that are cut out of the wood. And then I'll just use select pieces of that kit, and then I'll add other things to it. Besides using wood and kit pieces to create her minis, Smith also adds working hardware to many of her items. We try to make sure that everything uh, works and if it, if, you know, if it has, um, like this has hinges on it and so I want that to be something that you can actually fold and interact with because I think that's, that's part of the fun of minis is having something in a small scale that's still functioning the way that it's intended to. Smith says creating these handheld miniatures is not only a creative outlet but a therapeutic hobby as well. It's amazing how having a hobby and like a positive outlet is so good for us. It's a really great thing and I wish more people got into it. In Brewer, I'm Jody Hersey for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.